Why do I fight? I fight because it keeps me on the right path and the right path will be in the near future a world title. I'm going to win. I've got a feeling that actually I'm more than a feeling I know that I can win a WBC or WBA world title by the end of the year. So the lead up to this fight is like I'm fighting for one of them world titles. It's, it's just it's just me in there. If I don't perform good, you know, it's going to show. It's uh, it's like a roller coaster, you know, like the build up. You know, I'm warming up, you know, gloving up, and I'm getting ready to go out. You know, the, the nerves are, you know, filling my body up. Like I can't stop moving. And then by the time I get out there, I'm, you know, I'm deadly. Like winning a fight is it's heaps better than you know, like winning a footy game. It's like a grand final for every fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. Rogerio Tyson Damasco versus Zach Dynamo Dan. And it is main event time. The vacant WBC International Silver Super Middleweight title, remembering Zach Dynamo Dunn has relinquished his IBO World Crown and looking for now greater glory with one of the more highly credentialed organisations. But this is his opponent tonight, the man who stands between him and that WBC International Silver Strap who is trying to take the zero away from the unblemished record of Zach Dunn. 19-0 with 15 knockouts and simply the most exciting force in Australian boxing. This is his opponent, Rogerio Damasco from Brazil. He's been out to this part of the world before across the ditch where he lost to Robert Berridge in July of 2014. He's fought the last time he's seen fight in Melbourne. right around Let's the globe. Let's make some noise for Zach Dynamo Dunn! So we await the entry of the real pin-up boy of Australian boxing, voted Australian Fighter of the Year in 2015 with that huge IBO world title victory over Max Bursak. He then went to New York City and defeated the very tough Derek Findlay, who of course have been a regular spartaning partner of uh, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. And Zach Dunn looking to make it 20 from 20 tonight here at the Melbourne Pavilion. Bruce Lever with you, and once again I'm joined by Brad McCarley. And the intensity is starting to build, the excitement is starting to build here at the Pavilion as we watch the Dynamo. Zach Dunn, Mr. 100%, 19 fights, 19 wins, 15 by Ladies way of knockout. As I've, uh, as you've the playing always... of the Brazilian national anthem.
and ladies and gentlemen, to sing the Australian National Anthem, former member of international band The Ten Tenors and Melbourne showman, Ben Clark. Australians, oh, let us rejoice, for we are young and free. We've golden soil and wealth for toil. Our home is good by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty rich and rare in history's page let every stage and plants australia fair in joyful strains and let us sing Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council under the auspice of the Professional Boxing and Combat Sports Board of Victoria. Your judges at ringside are Jeff Eddy, Wayne Ashdown and Alan McCall. Your doctor at ringside is Walter Di Bartolo. Your timekeeper, Mr Damian Membry. And your referee in charge when that bell tolls, James Boland. This fight is proudly sponsored by Gary Simmons and the Simmons family. Melbourne Pavilion, both Warriors have now entered the ring and this is the main event of the evening. Melbourne Pavilion, let's make some noise. It's main event time. 12 by three minute rounds in the super middleweight division. They will be fighting for the WBC International Silver Super Middleweight title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Hisaya Santos, with an official weight of 75.7 kilograms, wearing black trunks. A fight record of 27 fights, 22 wins, two draws, 19 ending by way of knockout. Representing Sao Paulo, Brazil, he is the current Brazilian national champion. Rogerio Tyson Damasco. <laughs> and across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the ring on a train by Danny K. Daryl Ford and a team out of the Fighting Lions, an official weight of 75.5 kilograms, wearing the all black trunks. Undefeated, 19 fights, 19 wins, 15 coming by way of knockout. Representing Melbourne, Australia, he is the WBC Youth World Champion, two-time, two-time WBO Oriental Champion and the IBO World Champion, ladies and gentlemen, Zach Dynamo Welcome to Centre Ring Boys for 12 rounds of boxing. Spoken in the dressing room, you know what I expect. Neutral corner here and the one behind me. No questions? Shake hands now, and at the start of the last round, may the best man win. Let's get it on. Okay. Last instructions from James Boland and the main event about to get underway. Bruce Lever with you, and I've been rejoined by Barry Michael Baz. What a great night it's been. Capacity crowd and the atmosphere and everything now set for a grand finale. Undoubtedly, Bruce, it's been a great night. I've been really happy with everything and uh, with the big main event coming up here, Zach Dunn and Ruggiero Damasco uh, trying to put his hand out. Zach won't cop that. They've touched gloves in the centre of the ring and Zach's not going to muck around here. So Zach Dunn looking to be a perfect 20 and 0. And what a, an electric start to his career he has had. And Damasco trying to get Nice and busy early. The nerves would be jangling in both men. Damasco, you know, 19 big knockouts in 22 wins and 
Zach done 15 knockouts in uh, 19 fights. His 20th professional fight tonight. You'd have to say this is not going the distance We're one way or another. We're not going to still be here at the 12th round, Baz, I wouldn't have thought. No, but Damasco opening up with both hands in the first round, but uh, wait until Zach loosens up. He's He's been in the in the dressing room warming up for a long time. and I, Overhand I, right. Oh, big overhand right. I really think that he probably started warming up too early because the main support went the full 10 round. And another great night of boxing. You need to uh, take all the credit again, Baz. I know you've got a big team behind you, but it's been a, another wonderful... Oh. see that in slow-mo. Was that a bomb or what? Zach, here we are. Watch this. Watch this. Bang! Left side of the jaw and he was out. It was really only the ropes that kept oh. him oh. from being knocked oh, clear out of the ring. His first first round stoppage since October 2012 oh. and Zach Dunn improves to 20 and 0 <laughs> with 16 knockouts. What a knock, what a knockout. What an overhand right. I did say to someone, if Zach hits him with the overhand right in the first round, it's all over. He's dynamite. Zach Dunn. We've taken He's, the stool across to Tabasco. Look We're at seeing that. Multiple replays here at the venue as well as at home on Channel 31 and on Star Sports over in North America. And Joe Guadalupe uh, would be wanting uh, this man to uh, come back to America pretty pretty quickly on the back of that performance, Baz. Well, they look, I think we're going back maybe to fight a big fight on the 18th of May, I think it is. Um, hopefully at the um, the big uh, venue in, um, in New York, the... Uh, What's the, the Barclays Center. Oh, Barclays Center. Yeah. Well, that, that's for another time. Here we're still focusing on what has been a spectacular, an exclamation mark to end a massive night of boxing. And Ruggiero Damasco, he still doesn't know what hit him. Well, he can go back to the dressing room and have a look at the replay as well. It was an enormous right hand from Zach Dunn. Unbelievable and knockout. Unbelievable. You know, anyone just who electrified got a, the crowd here, Barry. Anyone who had a got hit with that would have been out cold. That was a bomb. But what a finish for the night, Bruce. Wow. There's not much else you can say, but wow. <laughs> that is why professional boxing, it will never die. It will never die. Let's have a look at this uh, replay one more time. You'll see this punch a lot over the next 48 hours. It's a massive weekend of sport in Australia, but we have got a rising star. Bang. And Rogério Damasco, well-credentialed Brazilian. It's a big year for Brazil in sport, being an Olympic year. But that is just a spectacular finish by our young star, Zach Dunn. How many seconds into the first round was it? We'll get that from John DiMicoli very shortly, our ring announcer. Incredible. No, he's a dynamite fighter, Zach Dunn. He really is. The, the most exciting prospect in Australian boxing at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute. 16 seconds in the very first round. This fight ended, declaring a winner by devastating knockout and new WBC International Silver Super Middleweight Champion, Zach Dynamo Dunn! Well, WBC International Silver Champion, 
the super middleweight champion. Zach Dunn has got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to win, uh, good to finally jump back onto WBC again. You know, um, it was a good win tonight. You know, um, Rogero had a lot of power in it, uh, had a lot of power in his punches, but uh, I saw, I was thinking early, and I saw cracks in his defence, and um, yeah, I took him out with the overhand right. I know Ruggiero pretty well. I've worked his fights previously. I know he's got a lot of pop as well. Did you feel any of his power? Oh, I caught, lucky, lucky, you know, he tried to swing him early and I, I caught him on my gloves, but I could feel the power behind him. Zach, around this time last year when you, you upended BB Berisol, it really all... Oh. Bebrick said... That what it, maybe that's the one. We got the same vote. It really all started for you there, you know, because he was a highly ranked fighter. You got into the rankings, you worked up from there, then you w went on to win the IBO World Super Middleweight title. Now you've gone into the WBC and you're highly rated with the WBC and the WBA. Um, and, of course, Derek Finlay was a hard ask after, after uh, Max Bursak. I mean, Bursak was a real test. Finlay was equally as good a test in, in, out of your own comfort zone in New York. But now you've come back home to fight. So what next for you? Um, oh, oh, later in the year, I want, to WBA, I want to either go to Italy and take the WBA world title off um, Giovanni De Corrales. Or the WBC world title against um, Badu Jack. Some good fights there. Um, realistically, I mean, you'd have to back yourself. I mean, you're a confident young man. You've, um, you've, you've done a lot of travel as an amateur, so that's really put you in good stead to travel as a professional. Yeah, I've done, I've done my apprenticeship and um, I've worked my way up in the ranks in the professional game and... You know, with, with the right, right trainer behind me, Danny Kay, and the right people behind me, I believe I can uh, mix it in there with the best and put on an exciting show doing so. What to now, Zach? You're going to have a bit of a break for a short time. 2016 will probably bring some very, very good things for you. Uh, you want to get straight back into it? Or do you want to have a little bit of a break and then just take your time? No, no, well, it's still early in the year, and this round, uh, this fight, you know... Ended early, so I can get back straight back in the gym pretty early and um, make some noise later in the year. Is there any talk of any particular opponent up next that you've been negotiating with to work with? Um, I'm not too sure who they want for my next opponent, but uh, um, possibly at, at Mandalay Bay in America. I've seen a lot of fighters, a lot of fighters managed and run by their fathers. Um, often doesn't work. I know you, I know your dad, I know your, your grandfather. I've known him for 100 years and um, really are a, a great team. You know, your dad's your best supporter. He's your biggest and best supporter. Um, I mean, you do this for the family. I know, I know you don't just do it for Zach Dunn, but you do it for the family as well. Yeah, you know, it's, um, of course, we, we do everything for our family and um, it's uh, good having the support of the family behind me and it makes things easier in, in my boxing and in my life. What about some of the other super middleweights here in Australia? There's a lot of talk of fights. Um, Talapau, uh, maybe, uh, you know, um, Rowan Murdoch, to name a couple. None of them have come to fruition. Are you above all of that now where you just want to go and look at international opponents and someone that's going to really give you a big challenge? Well, um, yeah, like, I want to bring home a world title to back to Australia. Like, we, we haven't had one for a, for a little bit now, like a, one of the major ones. So I'll bring one of them back and um, make some noise over back in Australia. Well, I guess most of, not only here in Melbourne at the Pavilion tonight, but most of Melbourne and most of Australia are along with you on this journey. We've got uh, Lucas Brown going to fight for the World Heavyweight title in Grozny next week, and we're all going to be behind him. Maybe we can have Zach Dunn a little bit later on in the year going to fight for, uh, for the coveted WBC or the WBA World Championship, and I'm quite sure you've got all of Australia behind you. Yeah, it's, it's amazing having Australia behind me, and... Um I look, I look at um, bringing on more exciting shows uh, to, uh, for Australia. Well, you've got another quality championship regional title, the International Silver title. It's not a Mickey Mouse title. It's a great belt. Wear it with pride because you've earned it. And, uh, Zach Dunn, we wish you all the best for the next of the year. There he is, the current WBC International Super Middleweight Champion, a young guy who really has it all in front of him. Give him a big hand, everyone. And John Demacoli, our Master of Ceremonies tonight. By golly, what a good night. It was a fantastic night. We're about to shut it up, so 
Thank you, Brad Vicali. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Barry Michael and the entire team at TV Ringside, we thank you so much for taking the time out to coming down to the Melbourne Pavilion. To the winners, congratulations. To our champions, well done. And to the man to my right, Zach Dunn. We can't wait to see what the future holds. John McCauley signing out. Have a great day. Have a great night. And we'll see you next time here at TV Ringside, right here in Centering. So we continue to wrap up here at the Melbourne Pavilion. Barry Michael, we've got 30 seconds. It's been another wonderful night. And Zach Dunn finishing it with a major exclamation mark. He certainly did, Bruce. An incredible victory. One punch KO against uh, the Ruggier Brazilian Ruggiero Damasco. Great victory. So that takes us out from the beautiful Melbourne Pavilion. Barry Michael's first big show of 2016. And you're seeing some of the action there with the likes of Mitchell Clark, Jade Mitchell, Amari Kimwari, Bilala Katwi and Zach Dunn having big victories. Keep punching, protect yourselves at all times. Good evening to you all.